nights. I can tell you how many nights I've been on because I keep a log. Oh, okay, cool. So how many nights? 8,000, give or take. I like your office, Mario. <laughs> this is the best office ever. It's the best office in the world. <laughs> no doubt. Catch the cruise news and some travel tools. Where is cruising jewels? But I'm back. It's cruising jewels, and I'm with Super Mario today. Yay. He's famous, you know. Mario, I think I met you back in. It might have been 2012 ish. Were you on the Liberty of the Seas at that, that time? That is correct, 2012, yes I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. You probably met thousands of people yeah. during your days at sea. Many, many thousands, yes. Yeah. I was actually on the Liberty for three years back to back. No way. Yeah. Three years back to back. Back to back, Okay, yeah. so do you actually live on cruise ships then? I do. I live full time on cruise ships, yeah. So how does that work with a permanent address? Like, do you have a mailing address? Or? I do, but I've gotten rid of all my regular mail. I do it all online. Cool. Yeah, I don't have any, almost no mail at all. Okay, so let's see what your shirt says. All right, take a look at it. 11,000 miles, so 11,000 points, does that mean you've had 11,000 days at sea, or is that something different? It's different because the points don't correlate with the nights. Okay. For example, if you if you get a sweep, you get an extra point. Normally, your points will exceed your nights. They always will. If you cruise solo, you get an extra point, which means that if you cruise solo in a suite, you, instead of getting one point, you get three points. Okay. So you see the points can really... Get they can really, add up. Yeah, they add up pretty quickly. So in terms of nights, I can tell you how many nights I've been on because I keep a log. Oh, okay, cool. So how many nights? 8,000, give or take. Wow, so in years, what does that translate to? A like? thousand cruises. Slightly over a thousand cruises. Oh. Maybe about a thousand fifty or something like that. Okay, so do you always cruise on Royal Caribbean? Always, a hundred percent. Yeah. They treat me very well. I bet. Very You're well. The top customer, for yeah, sure. I don't think anybody will ever surpass that. Yeah, no, they treat me very well. I'm loyal to Royal. Okay, right now we're on Harmony of the Seas. How long have you been on the Harmony? Actually, this is my last week. I've been here six months. Fantastic. And this is my last week. Why my last week? Yeah. Because on Sunday, which is turnaround day, we all have to get off. Because the ship is repositioning to Galveston, Texas. Yeah. And that cruise from Miami to Galveston, no guess. Oh, no way. No guess. Oh, so they're going to be uh, redoing the ship? Maybe? Are they refurbishing it? No, they just re they call it reposition. Yeah. It's a reposition cruise with no guests whatsoever. That's no, no fun if there's no, no. guests. No. <laughs> so for the crew. Everybody has to get off on Sunday. Okay. Which is, you know, for me it's my last week. So what's your next ship going to be? It's going to be Serenade. Well, that's an older one. Yeah, right, and a smaller one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what do you like about the Serenade? I'm, well, I'm yeah. guessing you've been on it before. Sure. The reason I'm going on Serenade, Julie, is because they're doing a special day itinerary, which is Miami to Los Angeles, crossing uh, the Panama Canal, and then from Los Angeles back to Miami. Round trip. So it's a round trip, 28 days. Oh, awesome. It's my absolute favorite itinerary. How many times have you been through the Panama Canal? I can tell you, my cruise log says 22 times. Now, I don't know if you've heard anything. I was watching a YouTube channel and they were saying something about the Panama Canal. They haven't had a lot of rain Correct. and so it's been slower for ships to move through. Have you heard anything about that? Yes, uh, they've had a very lacking rain. They have a, a rainy season that hasn't provided yeah. the normal amount of rain. And you know, the Panama Canal operates on water. Yeah. Okay, so the water level in the lake, which is where the water comes from, is very low. So what they've been doing is restricting, limiting the number of ships that can go through. Especially the big cargo ships that take up more water. But the cruise ship is okay. Oh, okay. So no Good. problem. It's been scheduled probably years in advance. Where I'm from, we have the Welling Canal. Right. Have you heard of the Welling Canal? Yes. Actually, cruise ships are going through there now. Did you know that? Do you have locks? Yes. So, so there's eight locks. Canal has locks. Oh, yeah. Super Mario's yeah, Are you staying?
anything on the serenade of the seas after the Panama Canal? No. Once the Panama Canal cruises are done, yeah. then I'm switching to my next ship, mm -hmm. which will be the Oasis of the Seas. Oh, the original Oasis class. Correct. And I'll be there for six months. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a favorite class in the Royal Caribbean? Fleet? I like them all. Because I love cruising, right? Okay. So I started 20 years ago. You must have sailed Mariner out of Port Canaveral. I sailed Mariner out of Galveston and oh, we Galveston. took it to Shanghai. That's so right. That was a wild ride. That's right. <laughs> well, she was in Galveston, then she went to LA and did some cruises out of LA in 2009, okay. 2010. That was a great ship. I loved yeah. it. And then, and then what happened is that virus hit in Mexico, that A1, N1, A1, whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Colin. yeah. And then and the violence started to get a little bit tough. So they had to take the Mariner out of LA and took it to uh, took it from LA to Brazil and from Brazil to Asia. Yeah. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. I don't remember. Okay, here's a big question. Royal Caribbean. Why Royal Caribbean? Okay, fair fair question. Yeah. The short answer is I tried all the cruise lines. Yeah. I tried 10 different cruise lines and became familiar with all 10. And at the end of that experiment, I call it, I rated each cruise line based on my criteria, my own cruising style, mm -hmm. and Royal came out on top. Well, that makes it easy That's then. That's it? Yeah. They have everything top. you can imagine to do on a vacation here. Yeah. Well, I rated the ships based on, first of all, the innovation of the ship, the creativity, the design of the ship, the layout, mm -hmm. the venues. That was number one. Number two was the crew, the friendliness of the crew, the, how well they relate to the guests. Mm -hmm. And number three was the loyalty program. Okay, so what do you get when after you've been cruising with 11,000 points, what does that get you? Okay. That, I'm platinum right, right now with Royal Caribbean. Well, so you know there's six levels, right? Yeah, is Diamond Plus a new level? <coughs> no, Pinnacle. Oh, Pinnacle's the top. Pinnacle is the top. Okay. So that's level, the top level. So when you reach Pinnacle, you get more benefits than you get when you get Diamond Plus, obviously. Right. So I'm a Pinnacle, and I get exactly the same benefits as every other pinnacle, except for one more. Oh, the desk, the best office in the world. I get an office. So Mario, yeah. question, are you retired, fully retired, or do you actually do work here at your office? I run my business from here. No way. Absolutely. What, what business are you in, if it's, you don't mind me asking? No, I'm a financial advisor. Oh. I do financial investment. Where did you go to school for that? I, I went to school for uh, corporate finance at the uh, University of uh, Pennsylvania. I was in Miami. Oh, Miami. Time. Wow. So that was a big change for big the climate. Change. Yeah. <laughs> big change. Big change. Cool. So, yeah, all my education is uh, financial. Yeah. Pretty much. Oh, the finance office of the world. Right. Sailing the world. Okay. I won't keep you too much longer, but I have a couple questions. Have you been on any of the cruises outside of North America? Outside with, of North America? Yeah, with oh, Royal absolutely. Caribbean. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Where else have you been? I have done around the world. I've been to Mediterranean, Scandinavia, Alaska, South America, Europe, Asia, Middle East, all of Asia, Pacific, okay. Hawaii. I've done it all. I've done it all. Where's your favorite itinerary? Panama Canal. Panama Canal? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I haven't done Panama. I've been to the Panama Canal. Yeah. You know, some cruises will just take you to the to East it. Coast, but you don't go through it. No. I've done that, but I haven't actually gone through it. No. So no, this this is a full transit all the way through. Back, back and forth. Yeah. Now, Mario, I'm a big cruiser. I've done, I've done 62 cruises. Now, this is my 63rd cruise, right? Oh, wow, okay. I go on all different lines. Sure. But I've been slowly trying to convince people to go cruising yeah. and some of my friends and my family members you know maybe it wasn't for them actually I got my sister to book one we're gonna go on one next year but for the people that say cruising's boring oh. what do you have to say to that I say that is a myth it's a total myth you have to try it to really understand why it is not boring it is hard to explain but once you're on board the ship is huge, there's 
many different venues so you can go entertainment or, or have your meals. You can socialize, you can use a pool deck, you can use the uh, solarium. You, it, it's like a resort. It's like a floating resort. That's the best way to explain it. Yeah. But because it floats, it can visit many different places. True. Right? If you're yeah. in a land resort, you're stuck there. Yeah. A floating resort takes you all over, right? So yeah. if you like to be in a resort for your vacation, you're going to love a cruise ship. True. Yeah. And here's the most important thing. Here's the killer. You don't have to do anything. That's what I say. I love lounging, just lounging and watching the seagull ride. You don't ride. have to do anything. That's right. You can be, this is what I tell people, you can be as busy as you want. You can be like nonstop, go, go, go. Right. Or you can just kick back and relax and, chill and do out. nothing. And chill out. But what I mean by doing nothing is, especially for ladies, you don't have to go grocery shopping for that week. You don't have to cook. You don't have to wash dishes. You don't have to clean. You don't have to make your bed. You don't have to do laundry. That's what I mean by not having yeah. to do anything. Yeah, just, I just meant like kick back, I know. your feet up, I, I'm, daydream. I'm, ex <laughs> I'm extending the meaning. Yes. We're not doing anything. That's perfect. Yeah, no household chores, none. Yeah, so what kind of cabin do you get? You know what? I get an inside cabin. I, I am perfectly happy with an inside cabin. Yeah. Here's my balcony. Right. That's what I'd say. Once in a while, I'll treat myself to a balcony. But on this cruise, we're doing an inside cabin. And it's like, you sleep like a baby. Like a baby. It's pitch black. And then you've got the biggest balcony in the world. I've got the biggest balcony. Why would I want to pay for a balcony? Yeah, because you're just sleeping. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, for me, an inside cabin works extremely well. Plus, your money goes further, right? You're getting all the same amenities, pretty much. It controls your costs. It does control you. You can go on like two or three times as many cruise sometimes. Exactly. exactly. Now, in my case, I cruise 50 weeks a year. Yeah. Imagine the additional cost for a balcony versus an inside. Be it would be astronomical. Thousands and thousands of dollars. So, okay. So what do you do when you go on land? Is that your vacation or are you going to visit family or? I have two weeks vacation on land. Okay. And it's normally Christmas week and New Year's week. What do I do? I do my maintenance, medical appointments, dental appointments, car maintenance, you know, stuff that I cannot do on the ship Yeah. for those two weeks. Okay. And they go by real fast, real fast. But I'm still miserable. I'm not happy on land. Do you miss being on the ship when oh, you're yeah. on land? I'm miserable on land. I don't do well on land. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to go meet up with my friend Karen now. Day this has been a six of seven on our Harmony of the Seas cruise the last week of October 2023. Mario, thanks for spending Julie, time it's a with me. Real yeah. pleasure. I look Maybe forward. I'll see you again one day I'll on see Royal you on Caribbean. The ocean. On the ocean. On the ocean. Oh. Ciao.